the strawberry poison dart frog. This is a very small frog that gets its name from its red color and its poisonous skin. The strawberry poison dart frog has the scientific name Ophaga pumilio. This frog is found in the rainforest of Central America, mostly in the countries of Panama and Costa Rica. Its ecosystem is the rainforest. The rainforest includes many abiotic factors like dead leaves and water. The dead leaves are found on the forest floor. They give a shelter and a habitat to the frogs. There is a lot of water available to the frogs because it rains a lot in the rainforest. There are also many biotic factors in the frog's ecosystem. For example, there are trees that the frogs can climb on to find food and escape from predators. Also, there are flowers in the rainforest called bromeliads that are important to the frogs. The bromeliad flowers trap water in their leaves and petals. And the adult frogs put their tadpoles in the water. It's like a private pool for the tadpoles. This is an example of commensalism. Because the frogs benefit from the bromeliads, but the bromeliads are not affected by the frogs. The strawberry poison dart frog is in several food chains of the rainforest. It is a consumer. It only eats other animals, so it is a carnivore. Because of its poisonous skin, it does not have many predators, so it is at the top or near the top of its food chains. Let's take a look at the food web. The ants eats the leaves and plants. The adult frog eats the ants. The adult frog only has one predator because of the poison on its skin. And the predator is the night ground snake. Mites eats the leaves and plants, and the frog eats the mites. Decomposers, fungi, will eat the frog's remains when it dies. The spiders eats the leaves and plants. The frog eats the adult frog eats the spiders. And when the frog was laid its eggs, the tadpoles don't have the poison on their skin yet. So the dragonflies eats the tadpoles. And then the birds, such as a mot mot, eats the dragonflies. The strawberry poison dart frog has a niche in the rainforest ecosystem. When it eats ants and mites, it helps keep their populations down. This allows the plants that are eaten by ants and mites to grow and survive. The frogs are like pest control for the rainforest. If the strawberry poison dart frog was removed from its ecosystem, the populations of ants and mites would go up and the population of plants would go down. This would hurt the rainforest because plants are needed in the rainforest as food and shelter for many organisms. Humans are affecting the strawberry poison dart frog in a negative way because of climate change and deforestation. When humans cut down trees in the rainforest, frogs don't have protection from their only predator, night ground snakes. Also, trees provide the frogs' main habitat because the frogs live in the dead leaves on the rainforest floor. The strawberry poison dart frog is an interesting and colorful animal. It is critical to its rainforest ecosystem. It has a strong population right now, but deforestation and climate change are threats to its future.